In this video, I'm going to talk about my whole entire thoughts on this so-called tradition, you know, among the Inuits up in northern Canada, northern Alaska, and Greenland, where, you know, they just use the white man's technology to hunt those endangered narwhals and bowhead whales using motorboats, machine harpoons, and guns, which are all invented by whites like myself and of course they allow the, the animal to the animal the endangered bowhead whale to suffer for over six hours and if you were if you are you are ever to criticize it considering it as cruel, then you be labeled as a racist by the left. And of course, Greenpeace, Greenpeace is protesting, you know, against Japan hunting mink whales who are not even endangered while they are so silent. Of the killings of bowhead whales done by the Inuits, the so-called natives of natives of the Arctic North. I mean, they're not even na native at all. They're they're Northeast Asians of Mongolian descent. They're Turkic. I mean, of course, you don't have anyone like myself who. Were to say that would be labeled a racist, I'm not sure if I would be, you know, if I would be arrested in Canada for for saying this, since, you know, Canada is so liberal, it's so anti-free speech. I mean, of course, they would even arrest you if you, you know, a question about transgenderism, this disgusting 20th century invention and of course the Inuit community rely on government welfare like why would they need to be eating the flesh of belugas narwhals and bowhead whales to survive when they rely on government welfare and even buy white man's technology with that government welfare money instead of using their old traditional uh, seal skin boat or arrows or spears to hunt. Because using white man's technology like motor boats or machine harpoon is much easier for them i mean th this is just lazy if you're gonna ask me i mean i mean of course i don't even see any you know animal right activist like saying anything about this because you know most animal right act most animal right people like PETA and greenpeace i mean they're liberals that's why they're not going to say anything about this. They're they're left wing. Of course. And you don't really see too many, you know, vegan advocates for animal rights, you know, questioning about this since you know, they'll be labeled a racist if you question about this. Just cultural Marxian protocol. That's what it is. 
And even, you know, this is just how, you know, leftism, liberalism, this, this is why it is a severe disease. Destroys your brain. Political correctness. It destroys your brain. It destroys your sense of reality. And, you know, and political correctness and cultural Marxism, leftism, is what's going to lead the bowhead whales into extinction. And to tell you the fact, it it takes it takes like over 25 years for bowhead whales to reach sexual maturity. And they could only have like one calf. The female could only give birth to one calf once in her life. And there's only like 10,000 of them left. Of course, there used to be 12,000, but, you know, their number is starting to decease. And one, because of this, you know, this overhunting committed by the Inuits. You know, and I'm just going to post this video on YouTube, you know, and just to have, you know, comments to, you know, tell... Tell me what y'all think. Because, you know, no one's talking about Eskimo privilege. Eskimos are not living in igloos anymore. They're already living in reservations just as other so-called indigenous 